Cuba and Colombia might just be the Latina frontrunners of the Miss Earth 2022 pageant. And here's why. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Jethan Cappuccino of Sashes and Scripts. And today, I will be showing you video clips and some thoughts and opinions why I believe um, Sheila uh, Ravelo Perez and Andrea Aguilera are the Latina frontrunners for the Miss Earth title this year. Before I show you the clips of our interview with these two girls as well as uh, some behind the scenes footage of their um, Spotlight Cosmetics uh, shoot, let me just first give you um, what are my observations during the Spotlight Cosmetics event held at the Everbilena headquarters earlier today. So, una sa lahat, pagdating sa ganda, I think namumukuntangi itong dalawang ito in terms of yung facial beauty, in terms of yung ganda ng skin, and in terms of yung physical na aspeto um, overall. I think pagdating sa mukha, um, uh, Shayla reminds me a little bit of Charlene Gonzalez with a little bit of Dayanara Torres mixed in. And um, she really has that very 1950s na Hedy Lamar na look um, on her that is very classy and very classic. Um, I think yun yung isa sa mga bagay-bagay na na-appreciate ko at nagandahan ako on her physical na beauty, on her facial na beauty. Um, on the other hand, when I am looking at Andrea, I feel that nakikita ko sa kanya yung aura ni Gazzini uh, when she was competing in Binibini Pilipinas. Yung ganong klaseng ganda ng mukha, na very HD tignan, na parang um, kahit na anong makeup ang ilagay mo o ilapat mo sa mukha niya, babagay sa kanya and she really pulls off any, uh, any look na na you throw her in. And I think that yung ganung klase ng mukha, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-ignore ng basta-basta. And I think um, she has that very classic Latina beauty um, that really reminds us of, you know, the Venezuelan um, Miss World Queens na it would really be very, um, very classic na Latina. And um, I really think that um, itong dalawang to, these two girls, are the two girls that might be the last two standing among all the Latinas um, in the competition. However, I would not discount that there are possible other um, uh, underdogs and, and, and dark horses that might steal their thunder. However, um, based on what I've seen among the uh, girls that I've seen uh, earlier today, um, these two, aside from being very beautiful in person, um, Shayla has a very, you know, um, smooth way of uh, talking. Um, she has a very, uh, very intelligent way of speaking that you really want to, you know, learn more about her as she speaks. And I think um, that is a very good quality that uh, she has if she wants to be Miss Earth. And I think the um, education, yeah, uh, which is she was, uh, she is still a student. Uh, She's a graduating uh, student in, in, in the University of Florida. Um, yung ganong klaseng ability to communicate, to talk, um, it's a very good you know, asset to bring into the Miss, Univer uh, Miss, in Miss uh, Earth title. On the other hand, um, si, ano, si Andrea, ang quality sa meron siya is that she has that ability to connect with people. Um, in fact, um, among the candidates, uh, after the event, siya lang yung namumukotangin natatandaan ko na lumapit sa amin sa media na, na, na table and to thank us for the coverage. Um, that is something that you don't necessarily get with other candidates na after the after the pleasantries of the coverage, eh, tapos na. Um, with her, um, talagang she took time na lumapit sa amin and she really thanked us individually and, and, and you know, nakipagbesa-besa pa nga siya sa amin. Um, with regards to, you know, the coverage that we've given her in that event. So, we really, you know, we really love that kind of um, amor na ipinapakita niya sa, sa mga tao. And I think, you know, that is one of the things that um, 
people will really remember her um, because of yung ganong kagaanang loob na maging you know grateful with um, with uh, the coverage that uh, that she 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 had. So I think these two girls kina kailangan bantayan ng mga pageant pundits um, uh, as well as the Miss Earth fans because I think these two girls are two of the girls that would likely be one of the top four in this year's uh, Miss Earth pageant. Now on to our interviews with them. Okay. Okay. So good morning Sheila, this is Jason oh, Cappuccino of Sashes and Scripts. So how are you? We are here at the Ever Bilena event. Um, so what's going on? Hello! We're here at the Ever Bilena event. So we're going to have a fashion show in a little bit I believe. But right now we're getting some content, doing a little bit of a photo shoot. And we're getting to see the girls for the first time. Uh, Fire and Air has been separated for a while so it's really nice to be back with everyone and get to be in the mix. So, um, can you tell us more about yourself? Of course! So, hi, I'm Shayla. <laughs> I'm 23 years old and I'm a full-time student, but I'm just finishing my course of study, so when I get back from the pageant, I'll graduate. I'm a long-time eco-activist, and although my advocacy is all really all-encompassing, I do primarily focus on the areas of sustainable fashion consumption and cleanups with my partnerships with Cleanly and EarthDay.org. But in addition to that, I'm also a scientist. I help teach chemistry at the university level, and I do biodiesel research at my university. So, um, what university are you studying in currently? The University of Florida. Go Gators! So, um, let us know more about your advocacy. So, can you tell us more about that? Of course. So, like I said, my activism is really all-encompassing, but for the purposes of the pageant, I had to narrow it down to two to make the biggest effect. And so, I chose the areas of fashion consumption, as well as cleanups because I feel like they were really easily accessible ways that anyone and everyone can get involved in the fight against climate change. So a lot of what a lot of people don't know is that the fashion industry is actually one of the largest contributors to global warming via the consumption and the production of CO2 emissions because of the production of synthetic fabrics like nylon and polyester. And it's sort of a silent killer because they don't really get the blame. Most often we really only point to the fuel companies or it's the use of fossil fuels, but we don't really point the finger at everyone who's really responsible. So by shining a light on that issue, as well as providing easy ways that you can combat this, we can definitely make a big difference together. And so that's why, part of the reason why I chose it as my advocacy. And in order to embody that, I have actually sourced all of my pageant wardrobe sustainably, either all rented, bought second hand, borrowed from a friend, or made from recycled fabric from another gown that I already have. And um, can you ask our viewers to support you and follow you in your social media account? Yes, if you want to know more about me, you can follow me on all my social media accounts. It's just my name, Chela Ravelo Perez, and you can get to know me more there and follow my journey. And of course, I hope you all tune in to the live final show in Coronation at Cove Manila on November 29th. Okay, thank you. Andrea, ¿cómo Hola. estás? Muy bien. Hello, everyone. So, how do you feel? You're now in, in, in the thick of the competition. Well, I'm very excited, very happy, feeling super thankful, super blessed. And I think this is an important moment for my country, for my people, because we are representing Colombia the best I can show in our traditions, so showing our culture, and of course, showing our initiatives because we are doing a lot of efforts to protect our mother earth and that's why i want to show you a little bit of my project which is bottles of love so what i'm doing is let the earth know that with plastic waste we can transform lives so we reuse we recycle and we transform this plastic waste into plastic material for building houses playgrounds and a lot of elements that change lives many families and children in my country and of course in the world because this initiative is taking a lot of countries also so I want to invite you to protect the mother earth because we are part of the nature we're part of this planet and that's our compromise that's our responsibility so let's choose to have a sustainable lifestyle and let's take care of our daily decisions of course putting in practice the five R's 
mind is everything. So let's rethink the way we do things. And um, that's my message to you today. Uh, Andrea, how does it feel that you're one, you're the you're the considered um, front runner for the title? Well, for me, that's a big honor. I feel uh, like super, super blessed, and I think this is a big responsibility. But also, I face it with so much love and passion that I couldn't feel more and more happier. Thank you so much for that support, for that love. You put me here and you're giving me the opportunity to talk about how I can be the greatest ambassador of Miss Earth brand and of course to create awareness about the protection of our Mother Earth which is our really purpose in this journey. So thank you for your support, thank you for your love and please join us on the 29th of November to see the final crowning. <laughs> okay, thank you, Andrea. Thank you so much. This is Buena Andrea suerte. Aguilera, Miss Earth Colombia. Follow me on my social media also, which is Andrea Aguilera Official. Thank you, thank you. Salam Buena, Buena suerte. Thank you. <laughs>